to, to be able to give them a ride today. And I know the NASA administrator, he talked about this yesterday. I mean, he's met with the crew uh, before today even and said, you know, I told Bob and Doug, it's not too late to call this off <laughs> if you have any second thoughts. And of course, they, they had none. Um, they're super pumped about this, ready to go. And right now it's just, you know, we just need the weather to cooperate. Yeah, I try to think who could potentially be more excited than the SpaceXers, Bob and Doug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? And you know, it's amazing how we have commercial and, and government working together to send these two NASA astronauts to space safely. It's just uh, it's a great combination of what we can do when we put our minds to things and be creative and innovative and work together as one community. I, I totally agree, Leland. Um, you know, I, I see Bob and Doug walking around our headquarters in Hawthorne all the time. They're basically family members. They, they're in the cafeteria. They're getting a drink from the soda machine. Um, every now and then, they, there are times when the, the teams can have breakfast with them, which is really cool. And uh, we call them the dads. <laughs> the dads. <laughs> they're well, they are dads. It's they fitting. are. And they're incredible human beings. They, they really are. They're, they're brilliant. They're, they're sharp. They are excellent to work with, but they're just great people. Yeah. No, I, I'm really um, inspired and honored to have known these two guys, and I, I can't wait to see them launch in space. And I was with you, uh, Lauren, out at SpaceX when we were doing a little tour, and I think you kind of snuck me back in to where they were training, and I got the chance to see them working and training. But when they came back out, I was having lunch, and everyone around was just like, hey, these are our team also. Yes, yeah. yes. It's really amazing. And Lauren, you said, I mean, you talked about what they're like, and they are just two of the most humble people, too. I mean, any every time I've seen them do an interview, they and you know they're they're getting asked questions about themselves, right? Because they're the stars of the show. Um, right. They're the ones getting on the rocket, but they always bring it back to the people who made it possible for them. They're right. always talking about the the NASA team, the SpaceX team, working behind the scenes that have sacrificed so much to keep them safe and made sure that they are always vigilant. Um, and and I know we've talked about this before too, but you know, if you're not looking for something wrong, you're not doing it right. So the, the teams, even now, they're always looking for any little thing that could go wrong to make sure that Bob and Doug are safe when they strap in and get going. Absolutely. Uh, around the office, we don't just say, oh, we're launching a rocket, we're, we're launching Dragon. We say, we're launching Bob and Doug. And that human element of this is essentially leveling SpaceX up in a major way today. Yeah, Absolutely. I mean, all the technology, all the hardware means nothing if it's all about the people. Absolutely. And, um, you know, we see just a handful of folks in the room, and we've acknowledged the, the distance that uh, Mr. Musk and Mr. Bridenstine are standing from the astronauts, and, they, of course, they have masks on. This wouldn't really look that much different, though, even if we were not in the midst of a pandemic. I mean, Leland, you know very well how what it's like to live in quarantine, getting ready for a mission, and so... This this coronavirus situation has just kind of underscored the importance of quarantine and keeping the astronauts protected. But can you speak a little bit about uh, what it's like to live in quarantine, getting ready for a mission? Yeah, we started in quarantine about a week before, you know, before we come down to the Cape to get ready for launch. And I think that everyone around you that comes to the crew dinners, they have to get checked by the doctors. And so we really make this a very serious thing, even without a, a camp pandemic going on. But I think once we get down here, like we have these crew parties for our families and, you know, we can't go to the parties. We have to FaceTime into the parties. But, you know, that's a very serious thing. And we only see our our, our spouses at the at the beach house and have a dinner and, and, and celebrate this momentous moment. But it's a, it's a very serious thing, even without pandemics going on. Absolutely. And obviously, Doug Hurley and Bob Bankin are two of the best at what they do. And it's starting to really sink in that the mission is on as you see them in their suits there. It's getting real. It's getting real. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember the very first time that I saw Bob and Doug in these suits at a crew training event at SpaceX. Not only did they look really awesome, you know, astronauts tend to look pretty cool, um, but the suits looked like they were from the future. Um, our team designed the spacesuits to maximize safety and functionality with a little bit of style. And so here's Chris Trigg telling us how the SpaceX spacesuit came to be. I think one of the 